eggs created from skin cells used to produce mice, artificial wombs for sheep. The science of reproduction is advancing, offering up new possibilities for humans in the future. Are we on the verge of a new chapter of the reproduction revolution? And could breakthroughs change our human code of ethics? IVF changed the future of infertile couples around the world. The first test tube baby was born 40 years ago in the UK. Since then, millions of babies have been born with the success rates now close to 50%. But is the world now at the precipice of human reproduction without the need for eggs, sperm or a real womb? In 2017, research by Japanese scientists led to the birth of live mouse pups using eggs made from adult skin cells. Last year, lambs were successfully grown in an artificial womb. Scientists say synthetic embryos or embryoids could allow them to study early stages of human development as well as to screen drugs to see which cause birth defects and to increase the chance of pregnancy. I think it's extremely exciting because actually it provides opportunity not to have to use so many mouse or human embryos for research because we will be able to mimic this particular stage of our own development. Despite the excitement, there is caution around developments. Three years ago, scientists accidentally discovered that stem cells can be enticed to assemble themselves into structures resembling human embryos. But they lacked the cell types needed to make a placenta, a heart or a brain. Embryoids were realistic enough that they were destroyed to stop them developing. Academics and religious leaders have long been concerned by the use of embryos for research. Ethically, the rules that the Catholic Church promotes are really very simple. That all research should be respectful of human life and respectful for human individuals. So no one should be killed in the process of doing medical research. As new discoveries are made, scientists think new ethical measuring sticks will be needed. Currently, the 14-day rule doesn't allow embryoids to be studied beyond two weeks. Même si je considère que l'embryon est une personne, ça n'est pas un argument pour ne pas faire de recherche, vu que l'on fait de la recherche à tous les âges de la personne humaine, c'est même la base de la recherche médicale. The potential for artificial embryos to create parentless and genetically engineered humanity opens up the possibility of future abuses. At the moment, science doesn't have the tools to take the parents out of the equation. How long before artificially grown human embryos become a reality? Should ethical limits be stretched to allow studies to go further? Is the world ready for the possible consequences of this new cutting-edge research?